Hello, community of Maple Valley. My name is Vincent Powell. I'm running for the school board. I've had a chance to meet many in the community, but I doubt I'll get a chance to meet everyone before the election. So I wanted to provide some videos for you to get to know me as an individual, in addition to where I stand on various issues. I'm a father of six. My oldest is in middle school at Summit Trail, is in seventh grade, and the youngest is a baby. She's only three months old. Uh, they are going to be in this district for a long time, like 20 years. And so it, um, it's really important for me that these schools deliver on a, a amazing education in a safe environment for each of our children. Um, so that's why I'm running. They're really my motivation for running. And uh, today I wanted to share a little bit of where I stand on safety. Safety is um, super important to me. Um, there's uh, both from external threats as well as internal threats. I want to make sure all of our children are safe and secure in the schools. Uh, this is, Maple Valley is a great community. We love living here. We moved here a few years ago. Um, we've loved it. Um, but there's definitely, you know, some things that have alarmed me over the past couple years. Um, most recently at my children's school, there was a lockdown, right? Where there was a gun sighting. Uh, there have been other incidents. Um, both like external threats as well as some internal threats. I imagine you're familiar with the uh, like the sexual abuse case that the district um, has been involved with in the lawsuit and it, just all of that. There's just, just a lot of opportunities for improvement. So uh, really quickly, my, my thoughts were on um, the two different areas with like external threats as well as internal threats. Uh, ex external threats, a about a year ago, there was a, an audit done by the district where they brought in some experts to review each of our schools and identify where the opportunities for improvement are. Um, things like buzzed entry, locking down the portables, fencing, lighting, uh, cameras, all of that. There's been some progress made uh, by the district, um, but there's still more that needs to be done. And uh, frankly, it's gonna cost some money, <laughs> right? Like, it never feels good to pay more in taxes, but this is something that I am totally behind um, as the district uh, moves forward with its bond, this upcoming bond. I, if elected, I'm totally going to try to advocate for uh, additional funding to secure our schools. Um, there's uh, things like fixing up some of the fencing and, and the cameras <laughs> and lighting things that just need to be improved a little bit. Uh, as far as the, so that, I think the school district is already making some progress. Um, there's more to be done, but I think one of the main areas that we really need to look at is protecting our children from internal threats. The, the more I learn about this case uh, uh, for the sexual abuse that was happening to children in elementary schools, it's just, it's just heart-wrenching. It's, you know, as a parent, it, you just think, well, you know, I, I would never want that to happen to anyone's children, my children, anyone's children. It, and what can we do to make sure that that never happens again? Um, I've, talk, I've met with the district about this a little bit, as have many others. And I think this is one thing that really unites our community wanting to make sure that there's transparency, there's accountability, there's clear communication around um, what happened, um, how it could have been prevented, what's being done to prevent this, prevent this from happening again. Uh, I know the district, as I've met with them, they are trying to you know, review their policies, make sure there's tra adequate training in place, but um, this has really hurt the community, I think, and just how this whole situation was handled. And we need to do better. We need to make sure that this is as unlikely to happen as po can possibly be. And I think the first step in that is a third party audit. So that's my recommendation. If elected, I will push for a third party uh, review to look at what was in place at the time that this happened. Um, as far as policies, procedures, were those followed? Was the breakdown in the, in the policies? Was it in the, uh, the, uh, the enforcement? Uh, and it was it in the um, implementation of those policies? Was it personnel related? Like we just need someone to come in who is an expert in this area to say, uh, are we following best practices? Not just are we doing the minimum, not just are we doing better, but really what are the best practices so that this never happens again? Anyhow, I wanted to share that um, if elected, safety is one of my top priorities, both securing from external threats as well as preventing threats uh, internally, things like sexual abuse, harassment, um, those sort of things. I hope this was helpful so you could get to know me as an individual a little bit better, and I hope to represent you uh, soon on the school board. Thanks.